Good morning. The universe uses patterns to create itself. We know that mathematics build physics, which builds chemistry, which builds biology, which builds everything that we see on this planet. Over a hundred years ago, Einstein told us that we would find supermassive black holes in space and that we would also find microscopic black holes among us. We have the James Webb Telescope in outer space looking to study these black holes and we have the Large Hadron Collider on this planet looking to study microscopic black holes. In 2015, LIGO, our interferometer, found the collision of supermassive black holes in space, which you can hear today as a chirp. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope gave us pictures of a supermassive black hole in space called Messier 87. Einstein predicted general relativity. He also was studying quantum gravity, which is quantum entanglement. In 2016, researchers at Northwestern tagged calcium and zinc in a newly formed zygote in a lab and were able to see calcium oscillations at 250 miles an hour moving across the cell of the new zygote and a zinc spark or an explosion of fluorescent tagged zinc coming out of the egg at the moment of fertilization. If Einstein is correct and the universe builds on patterns, there must be a moment that our energy is transferred into us. The smallest cell, the zygote that we are at the moment of fertilization must receive a massive energy transfer to jumpstart the mitochondria, the batteries inside of that cell. It appears that those 250 mile an hour calcium oscillations that trigger a zinc spark is the moment that the energy, light, code, qubits, that our soul enters or attaches to the zygote. The sperm and the egg each have their own Higgs field or field that gives them mass. When they entangle, the quantum gravity of that entanglement of the sperm and egg traps the light of the new zygote, the new consciousness, into that baby. 